Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today I want to show you how to install the Gator Recoil on this 2015 and up body style F-150. Now this is a five and a half foot bed, but it's the same install for just about every application. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what we're going to do first is lift up the canister. We're going to set it on top of the bed caps and uh, make sure that we center it in between the bed caps and make sure this, this rubber flap lips over top of your bulkhead. Now it's extremely important, let's just make sure this canister is centered in the bed caps. Check both sides, make sure it's nice and centered. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to install the passenger side rail. The passenger side rail installs the exact same way as the driver side rail. So what we wanna do first is locate that rail. Now, you've got the open channel this way. We've got uh, the part sits on top of the bed cap, facing the bed cap. Uh, at the very end, we're gonna see um, a little hole tapped in there. If you don't see the hole, you've got the driver's side rail. You need to swap it out to the passenger side. Uh, so once we've got the passenger side rail, what we're going to do is we're going to flip that rail upside down. And we're going to see a channel that runs the entire length of that rail. Now in your kit, you're going to have uh, a bunch of hardware. So first thing we're going to find is uh, our nuts that are in the kit. Now they're nylock nuts. Uh, it means you got a nylon band on the top side of it. And then the bottom side of it is no nylon band. What we're going to do is we're going to insert eight of those nylock nuts into this channel. Now we've got them inserted. We're going to take our end cap uh, and uh, this end cap is actually going to slide right over top of the end of our rail. I'm going to slide one of the nylock nuts underneath that end cap. And we're going to take one of our provided Allen head short bolts and that's going to thread down into the nylock nut. We're then going to use a quarter inch uh, Allen head drive to tighten that down. Now we just want to get nice and snug. Once it's snug, we don't want to go any further than that. We don't want to over tighten it. Now we're going to flip that over and on the top side, we've got a little hole in the end cap that lines up with a hole in the rail. What we're going to do is we're going to use the very small Allen head uh, screw that comes in our kit. We're going to line that up on there. We've got a 5 64ths Allen head uh, wrench, an Allen wrench. We're going to uh, just tighten that up. Our end cap is nice and snug on there. All right, so when we follow that channel up to the very front, this end of the channel is actually going to be flipped over and then slid over this portion of the canister. Uh, as we're doing that, the top of the rail is going to slide underneath the canister. Now out of our kit, we've got a screw. It's a self-tapper screw, um, and it's got a T25 head on it. What we're going to do is we're going to thread that into that hole in the rail. All right, we're going to make sure that we work that screw all the way to the rail, but don't over tighten it. All right, next what we're going to do is install of our latch stops and our clamps. Now those are going to install up into that uh, channel uh, where we have those uh, nylock nuts slid in. So what we're going to do is we're going to start spacing out those nylock nuts, uh, give them space where they want. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, the very, very last nylock nut, we're going to attach uh, with one of our small Allen head screws, go up through the bottom of that latch stop, and that's going to line up to the rail and go into one of those nylock nuts, the very last nylock nut. Next, we're going to take one of our clamps. Um, now, the clamp opens and closes like that. We're going to notice we've got a groove on the top of the, the clamp that is actually going to attach to the groove in the bottom of the rail. What we're going to do is we're going to take our long uh, hex head bolt, we're going to slide it up through the bottom of that line that up to one of our nylock nuts and we're going to get that started in place. Again, we're not going to tighten this down just yet. Now for the next three nylock nuts in the track, we're going to attach three more latch stops the exact same way we attached the first latch stop. All 
All right, now the easiest way to install this front clamp is to take the clamp apart. We're going to set these pieces off to the side. Now we've got just got the main clamp body. There again, we're going to insert the long bolt up into the clamp and install it into that nylock nut. There again, we're not going to tighten it down just yet. All right, so we should have one last nylock nut that's in front of this clamp between this clamp and the canister, but we're not going to use that until we've already lined all this stuff up. Then we'll do that last load stop. Now, before we go any farther, what we want to go ahead and do is set the placement of this last latch stop. Now, this needs to be about one eighth of an inch away uh, from the end of the rail. Uh, we're going to use a one quarter inch uh, Allen wrench and tighten that down. Now, we're just going to snug it. And what I mean by snug is you're not supposed to go past five foot pounds. Next, we need to make sure that we align the rails to the tailgate. So we're going to need to close that tailgate. But before we do that, we need to make sure we slide the rails forward, both sides, so that it's all the way up against the bulkhead. That way, we can close the tailgate nice and gentle, make sure we do not strike the rails with the tailgate. Now, what we need to make sure we do on both sides is make sure this edge of um, the, the end cap is one eighth of an inch away from the, uh, the tailgate. So what I've got is an eighth inch spacer. I'm just going to slide that in between uh, the, uh, the tailgate and the end cap, and then I'm going to slide the end cap to where it hits that spacer. I can pull the spacer out and do that on the opposite side. Now I've got a perfect eighth inch gap in between the two. Now we're going to go ahead and focus on our rear clamps. Now what I do to this clamp, we're going to do the exact same thing to the opposite clamp. So what I have to do is I have to spread this clamp apart and put the clamp half behind uh, the bed cap. So I'm going to reach up underneath the bed cap and feel for a good spot. That clamp hat can, half can fit where there's no obstructions. Uh, then I'm going to spread that clamp apart. Now in order to do that, I kind of have to pull the rail away from the bed cap and pull that clamp half all the way in. Then I rotate it down to where I can slide it back into the bed cap again. I rotate it back up and now that clamp half is behind the bed cap. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in the spacer bolt. Uh, now this is a nylon bolt. Uh, it's threaded. It's got uh, my Allen head. Uh, it's a quarter inch Allen head um, gap at the front. So I'm going to go ahead and get that screwed in. We're just going to get it started for right now. Now what I want to do is go ahead and measure the inside width of the canister. So from the inside of this edge to the inside of this edge. I'm going to take note. Now this is an F-150 five and a half foot bed and uh, this one comes up to 58 and three quarters of an inch. I'm going to take note of that. I'm going to come back to the rear clamps and measure and I'm a little beyond that so I'm a little wider here. So these rails actually have to come in on each side. Now the key is we want to make sure that as we bring these rails in um, that we bring each rail to where they're the exact same distance away from the, their perspective bed caps. And we're going to do that with the spacers. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and turn this uh, depth screw, uh, this alignment screw, all the way in uh, to where it hits the actual bed cap. I'm going to do that on both sides. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure the distance between the rails again. And I still need to come in a, a little bit on each side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn those set screws in since they're both pushing against the bed cap. The more I turn those set screws in, the more it'll bring the rail in towards the center of the bed. So I'm going to turn those set screws to where they're both about flush uh, with the clamp and see where that sets me. Let me see where that is. Now we've got the set screws in place, we're going to go ahead and snug down the clamps using the same quarter inch uh, Allen wrench. Now again, we don't want to go beyond uh, five foot pounds. Uh, and then once we get it uh, tightened down, we're going to tighten down the bottom as well. There again, just getting it snug. And again, don't go beyond five foot pounds. Do that on both sides. All right, now we're going to go ahead and work on the, the clamp next to the canister. We just want to make sure we have enough room in between that clamp when we set it in place that uh, we've got uh, our front latch stop is going to be able to go into place. All right, now we've got this clamp base installed nice and loose so we can make adjustments. We're going to reach back and make sure we've got a spot that's clear of any kind of obstructions behind the bed cap. Now we're going to take our clamp half, 
and it's threaded on the bottom. We're going to slide it up underneath the bed cap. You be, uh, be prepared to move any kind of bed liner material out of the way so you got plenty of room. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and reassemble that clamp. We're going to slide the bolt through. We're going to get it lined up and start threading it in. Now we're not tightening it down at this point. All we're doing is getting things lined up. Once it's lined up, we're going to go ahead and hit this finger tight, not tighten it down completely yet. Then we're going to take our set screw. We're going to go ahead and, and turn that into place. We're going to take this set screw and run it all the way up just where it contacts the bed cap on the inside. Once it contacts the bed cap, we're going to go ahead and tighten down the clamp. There again, we're just going to snug it. We're not going to get it too tight. Don't get beyond five foot pounds. And then underneath, tighten that down. There again, five foot pounds is all you need, and it's set in place. Now repeat the exact same process on the opposite side. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our last latch stop. This is a latch stop that goes up against the canister. We're going to install that uh, on the rail about a sixteenth of an inch away from our set screw. Um, we're going to use our last uh, nylock nut, take one of the small uh, hex head bolts, line it up to that last nylock nut, and then uh, set it in place, tighten it down. Uh, before we can do that though, we have to pull the, uh, the cover into the rail just past uh, the clamp so to get any kind of latch me mechanism out of the way so that it doesn't obstruct putting on this latch stop. And again, this one we're going to snug down just to five foot pounds. We're going to do that to both sides. Now your remaining latch stops are completely adjustable and the beauty of this system is you can set those latch stops anywhere along that rail in between the clamps. So if you have uh, particular cargo that you transport all the time, whether it be a grill, a bicycle, whatnot, uh, you can take and set uh, your latch stops so you close uh, all the way up to that particular piece of cargo. Now, uh, these uh, the latch stops, when they slide back and forth, they'll actually lock into uh, the latch on the cover. So we're going to latch both of those latch stops into the latch rail. Now, I'm going to move that cover exactly where I want it, go underneath with my quarter inch Allen wrench and snug down both of those latch stops. All right, the remaining latch stops, you use the exact same process and you set them wherever your preference is. So last, we're gonna test the operation of the cover. Now we're just gonna check all of our latch points, make sure nothing needs to be adjusted, check the operation of the cover. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.